What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Coco Coin. A little update on this front, okay? Because I have been invested with these guys for like a month now, all right? It is doing fantastically. Again, we are back up above 50 million market cap, which is fantastic. But what's more important here is what are these guys doing? What are these guys planning? How are these guys going to get to that next level? The hundreds of millions of market cap, the billions market cap. Well, I think the right step from my experience from running various projects, advising various projects that have reached those hundred mil market cap levels. Okay. From my experience, I would just say you need to mingle. You need to go out there, go to the events, prove to everyone that you are not just a meme coin. You are a project that is here to stay and a project that has real leaders and KOLs by behind it, okay? So key opinion leaders behind it, right? Uh, and we can see here that these guys actually have a plan to attend more events. They did attend the Binance event, so they attended the event in Dubai last week. That went fantastically. The price actually banged it up uh, way before that event and after the event, which is another great sign, right? Typically after events, you can expect little dumps, right? But uh, after the event, it's actually continued to rise here. So this V-shaped recovery for this coin after their airdrop, which again, airdrops, you can expect these dumps always after a big airdrops, but the real signification of a successful coin is what they do after the airdrop. And you can see here, massive V-shaped recovery, looking fantastic. Uh, literally, if it does get over this 17 area or this 18 area, it's literally price discovery and we can fly from that point. Uh, and again, guys, these guys did attend that event last week, okay? They also got backing from Binance Chain themselves, okay? They got 50K in liquidity from Binance Chain, which has skyrocketed the project, okay? Uh, and this was published on the Binance website as well. But what's more important here, guys, is the following. These guys are attending the WOW Summit in Bangkok, which is where I live, okay? And that is actually on the 11th to the 12th, so next week here, okay? So can I imagine the coin is going to go up based on that? And also, they are attending DevCon 7, which is also in Bangkok. So these guys are going to be mingling. And this DevCon is actually more of an Ethereum-based event. But again, if they can get these partners with Ethereum, maybe there could be some bridging. Maybe there can be uh, all sorts of partnerships that come along with the interoperability that Ethereum provides these days. Okay, so uh, massive, massive news from these guys. Okay, the fact that they're attending two more events this quickly, only a week after their Dubai event, all right, uh, is fantastic. And what's even better is these guys are actually uh, having a booth in this uh, Bangkok WOW Summit as well. A three meter by three meter booth where people can come along, they can check out the coin, they can check out the people behind the coin. And that just provides that transparency that you want when you are looking at a meme coin and you're looking for that next successful meme coin. So they're partners on both of these events. Uh, and for me, that is massive. Okay, uh, if they get one little look from any of these major, major names that are attending these huge global events here, uh, this could be something that's revolutionary for the coin. This could actually blast the coin into that next level, the 100 millions, the 200 millions. And that's going to take my prediction here where I'm expecting like a 4x from a 40 million uh, market cap buy-in, right? That's going to take my prediction a lot higher, potentially even a 10x uh, from where we are right now even, right? And we're only at 50 mil right now. So again, the investment's going well. It is still early. This project is really, really surprising me. They're still out here. They're still going for it. Uh, and they are really proving to me that they're here for the long run, okay? They've just updated their roadmap on their website. So be sure to check that out. But if you are unfamiliar with CocoCoin, guys, these guys raised over 24 million in their pre-sale, okay? They did do that airdrop as well. And uh, yes, that airdrop was 80% of their supply. So you don't really have to worry about that centralization aspect. This is a fully decentralized project. And actually, if we do head over to deck screener here, guys, uh, we can see that they have nearly 200,000 holders here at the bottom. This is in incredible, okay? They also have 5,000 liquidity providers. So in terms of market making, in terms of liquidity, in terms of stability, right? You can see here that there's 7.7 .7 million in liquidity and all of this is just criteria tick boxes that we want when we're finding these low cap meme coins that we think could go absolutely ballistic, okay? And with Bitcoin blasting through all time highs, you can expect a coin like this to absolutely follow suit and absolutely get that traction uh, that we are 
wanting, okay? And also, we are going to probably see some stuff come out about COVID and some memes come about COVID uh, since the new election results have come through, okay? So, uh, this coin is just poised. It's ready to really tackle any new trends. It's obviously the Pepe. It's obviously the COVID. But in terms of the new trends here that could potentially come over the next three to six months, these guys are really ready for that. And they also have fantastic art on their site as well, right? Whoever their artist is, I've got to give kudos to them because these guys have incredible creative ability you can see here right but fantastic stuff if you did want to get involved check them out on their website again they are going to be attending these massive massive events see these are some of the biggest events possible in the crypto space okay all of the thought leaders the big big names out there will be attending this event you can see it's not cheap to actually go to this event right uh, so it's VIP is a thousand bucks and a standard ticket is 300 bucks so you can imagine the names uh, of the people that are going to actually turn up to some of these events. If we do head over to DevCon here, uh, we can see that, uh, yeah, these tickets have actually sold out. Okay, so that's something that's massive. Uh, and you can imagine all of the names, all of the big projects, the potential partners that CocoCoin could get from this, just like Dubai. And really, the main point is, how is this going to reflect the token price? I believe it to be massively bullish. Okay, we have a pretty decent ascending triangle structure here on the chart. So what I will say is uh, it's looking pretty good for the money I've invested here uh, down at that 40 million market cap, right? So uh, as I've said before, the targets here, obviously, if we can get above 18, it's going to be huge. All right. Uh, but after that, I'm really looking to get up uh, into price discovery. We're talking up here, this kind of zone, right? Like a 400%, that kind of stuff uh, for this coin. And that's just me based on uh, all of the stuff that I've been seeing here from these guys and obviously uh, from my entry point, uh, which was down here, right? So uh, yes, 400% here looking at about 63, okay? Halfway to one cent, uh, which is massive uh, if these coins can get there or if this coin can get there. Uh, and what we will say with this thing is, uh, yes, definitely take some profit along the way, but as of right now, we are literally primed. We are ready for a breakout here. If these guys are attending these events. Uh, crypto is absolutely booming right now, okay? These guys are in, literally in the bullseye, okay? These guys are ready. They are at all these events, okay? They're doing everything right. Uh, they've changed their narrative as well. I forgot to talk about that, but they're actually going to be a little bit more on the VC side. So they're going to be investing in new projects following a peace and freedom narrative. So if there's any projects out there, that are really focusing on that world peace and freedom, freedom of speech, this kind of stuff, which is a massive, massive trend right now. I don't know if you've noticed right over the past uh, six months, these have been massive, massive trends with everything that's going on in the world. So these guys want to help fund that and any coins that do actually uh, end up in that sphere, right? So uh, yes, if, those, if they fund those coins, if those coins have successful business models or success in any way, then the Coco coin ho holders could potentially get airdrops of those coins, but also the profit will potentially go in to buying back Coco coin, which will be massive, right? But the main point of this video is to definitely watch out for this price increase and definitely potentially think about investing here before these events come around next week. Okay, so that will be starting from the 11th to roughly around the 16th here, uh, where these guys will be here. So I can imagine any of these guys that have basically made money from this recent crypto pump and they've attended these events, then they're going to be looking for projects to invest in, right? So these guys are front and center ready uh, to catch those whales and catch those people that are attending these events uh, in order to pump the price and in order to make partnerships as well. So fantastic stuff from CocoCoin. Definitely uh, look out for this event, WOW Summit in Bangkok and also the DevCon 7 uh, Summit, which will be uh, in Bangkok as well. Okay, and this is more of an Ethereum based one, but again, uh, everything is going to be massive uh, around these events, right? All of the projects around these events, sponsoring these events like CocoCoin are doing, right? Uh, these projects have massive, massive potential in terms of success just based on the people that are attending these events, right? So definitely check out this coin in the description and I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to drop a like on it and uh, yeah, excuse my nose. I got in a fight with a mosquito while I was asleep and uh, yeah, that didn't go well. But that's going to be it from me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.